All right, as some of you may or may not be aware, Canonical has been busy this week. Let me tell you, we have a lot of Ubuntu variants that have been released. We have the Ubuntu 1204. We have Ubuntu Studio for all of you multimedia enthusiasts out there. We have Edubuntu, Kubuntu, which is KDE, the Lubuntu, which is the LXDE user interface, and Zubuntu, which is the XFCE user interface as well. We are going to look at all of them right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, before I begin with Ubuntu, first thing I'd like to mention is, for those of you who have been watching the Zoo Crew, uh, depending on when you uh, watch this video, the show will be there tomorrow night or tonight. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. I will have links in the show notes so that you guys can join us on uh, the Linux Distro Community Chat on IRC and on Mumble for those who are participating in the voice conversation. This is going to be a really interesting discussion because we are going to be covering all of the distributions that I am doing a brief overview of right now. Okay, and the first distribution in our roundup, of course, is the mother of them all, Ubuntu. And... Uh, there's a lot of distributions out there that actually use its core as the base for their operating system. Okay, this uses the Unity interface, and you click this button here to access your dash. And then here, it, the first thing you'll see is all the recent applications. You can click this link here, and it will let you know of apps that you can download, your recently used applications. You can also see all of the programs that are installed in this and you can easily just page through them. Now I've spoken to a number of people that find this a little counterintuitive because they feel like they have to do a lot of clicking and that sort of thing but for the most part for a standalone CD sized based distribution and installer this pretty much will cover most things that you would want to do however if you do want to watch videos and that sort of thing you're going to need to download those video codecs separately but you can easily get a number of packages from using the Ubuntu Software Center which is located right here. You have a desktop switcher here which allows you to switch between four different desktops. Also, if you want to just navigate to a simple let me pull up terminal here, you can issue a simple command which will allow you to actually install uh, the old or classic Ubuntu desktop and uh, that terminal is sudo uh, turtle terminal command is sudo apt hyphen get install gnome hyphen panel and it when you run that particular command it will allow you to uh, have another choice and it'll be a classic desktop and then you can run comp is get your cube back and all that other stuff some people really didn't care for the unity interface I do like how it is shaping up though also you can download Ubuntu tweak which will let you do some pretty cool things with it you will be able to resize the uh, resize the uh, unity panel on the left here you can even modify its colors and do a number of other tweaks with it uh, I feel that this is a lot more responsive than previous releases and is definitely a welcome addition to the Linux community. The next distribution in our roundup is Ubuntu Studio, and this uses the lightweight XFCE user interface. Now, Ubuntu Studio is great for all of you podcasters and multimedia enthusiasts out there, and it comes with a plethora of free and open source software, which will allow you to get your production up and running. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, you can see up here, uh, you have a desktop switcher. You can install additional drivers if necessary. You will also have 
have a network connection, volume control, email, and power for those of you running off of a laptop like I do. Okay, and then you have a simple little menu which allows you to get into the meat and potatoes of this operating system. In audio production, you'll see there are tons of different programs that are installed with this as well as different effects that you can apply. There are different mixers that are included in this. There are also sound generators that you can use as well and you will see tons of applications that are included in this. One of my favorites I will mention in the uh, audio production is Audacity. Bar none, probably the best free and open source audio editor that's out there. Not necessarily beautiful in appearance, but it gets the job done. All right, and then of course you have a number of uh, applications pre-installed. Blender, the GIMP Inkscape, MyPaint, and a simple scanner. You also have photography uh, applications as well. And a nice suite of video editing programs as well. And then uh, some regular accessories that would use that you would use for everyday things. So all in all, this is a nice looking system. And because it is using the XFCE user interface that is lightweight, that enables you to have more resources available for those applications that you're running to get that production off the ground. Okay, next in the roundup, we are looking at Edge Ubuntu. Now, the one thing that I noticed on this one is uh, the uh, description on DistroWatch states that an educator does not need to be a Linux geek to easily set up a little network of uh, computers if they wanted to build a computer lab and that sort of thing, and then they'd be able to set up assignments they want to give to their students. And that's where this butterfly looking application start, LTSP Live, uh, comes into play. Now, I'd like to show you that there are a number of applications that this comes preloaded with that um, would even be great for parents who want to uh, give their children an edge in school and uh, there are a number of results listed right here uh, for many different applications uh, math, um, English, and there are even a few learning games as well as additional programs that can be downloaded uh, that suit the needs of the educator. I know there are a lot of parents that are doing homeschoolings as well and so for for those who are doing homeschooling this would definitely be a benefit to them. This does use the Unity interface and as well as Ubuntu it comes with pretty much most of the applications that you would use for everyday use such as uh, email, uh, an office suite, it uses the Libri office suite, you also get the uh, wonderful Ubuntu Software Center which has a comprehensive list of packages that you can easily download and install into the system. All in all, a very nice uh, addition to the Ubuntu family and a wonderful uh, contribution from Canonical. All right, so let's, let's say that you don't like Unity. You have a modern, ultra-fast computer, and you want to be able to customize it and have all kinds of fun with it. Well, let me tell you what. It just doesn't get better than this. This is Kubuntu. And I'll tell you, I actually use some components of uh, KDE in my Arch Linux system. Uh, it's very nice and intuitive. You will notice here that you do get... you, you the, This is the classic menu here, but by default, it's, it is the application launcher style where you can actually just type something in to search for your applications that sort of thing but personally my favorite is a classic menu style and uh, with the KDE 4.8 it does have a lot of effects and everything that you can do with this simply by going into the settings dialog here and in system settings and you have complete control over everything that the system will do now um, as always, uh, this is a fairly minimal install. You will need to install additional software and applications and that sort of thing. But pretty much anything that you would want to configure and set up in the system is all done right here. You can, um, and it is a lot of fun. I, I know I've had a, a lot of 
chances to play with this. You can also add new activities and widgets by clicking up here and there are tons of widgets with which you can choose from. Uh, it's going to open up the uh, kubuntu.org website where you can also go into the features tour and as you can see here there are a bunch of widgets that already come pre-included with this. Now you notice it w is running a little bit laggy. I am not running the fastest computer out there obviously but this is great for all of you people with dual or quad core processors and with lots of memory because uh, Kubuntu will make use of those extra resources that you have. But all in all, this is a nice distribution for those people who like the KDE user interface, and it is uh, great for those modern computer users. Next, we'll take a look at something for all of you people with lightweight systems. Whoa! This one looks beautiful. I love uh, the way LXDE is shaping up. Very nice. All right, here it is. This is Lubuntu, and this is a great distribution for those of you who are running a single core processing computer, and uh, it has lower uh, requirements. So if you're using a computer that's anywhere from three years or older, this would be a nice distribution for you to use. And uh, not so much with all the fancy schmancy effects and that sort of thing, but you can get Compiz working on it, actually. All right, and here uh, you have a power, the, the, the uh, clock here, uh, you have your internet connection, battery power, and then, of course, a volume control. You have two desktops to switch from. Uh, you can iconify all of your windows. You uh, get the uh, Chromium web browser pre-installed with this and uh, a very lightweight file manager. And then, of course, uh, a number of accessories for your everyday usage, uh, a bunch of Penguin games, uh, some simple graphics tools, internet. You get uh, some, some office applications, but you need to go into the software center, obviously, if you want to install more. Some sound and video options here in system tools. Uh, you have your update manager here for downloading all those updates. And you also have access to the Lubuntu software center where you can download all of your packages. And of course, you can, uh, you can count on uh, the quality that comes uh, within the uh, Ubuntu software center. They do have a lot of great packages out there, but you know, and there's two or three applications for everything that you would want to use out there. So if you download something and try something that's not so great, well, try something else, you know. Uh, all in all, I love how this looks. And the thing is, it's great for customizing. You can just simply right-click and select Desktop Preferences here. And it uh, gives you some choices for showing menus. You can uh, define your wallpaper, the background color, and all of that stuff there. Also, you have the options of even customizing your panel. And a lot of people like that uh, old look and feel. Here you can right click and then you can add pan add or uh, remove paddle items easily uh, within this user interface right here. So this is a good option definitely for people using slower computers. Last but certainly not least, we have Zubuntu, which uses the XFCE user interface, much like Ubuntu Studio does, without all the extra software and multimedia files and that sort of thing included with it. You have a nice little panel down here at the bottom, which uh, has uh, some items. You have quick access to your trash bin. You can uh, access your home folder here. You get the GIMP! And, of course, uh, G Music Browser, Abbey Word, uh, and a quick launch to the Ubuntu Software Center, plus a plethora of other things located here. Okay, and then, of course, uh, two desktops to choose from on, on this. Uh, your calendar, you can install additional drivers, internet, volume, mail, and, of course, battery indicator. And then, of course, you'll see here when you click on the little mouse icon, you can see uh, there's a quick launch to the Firefox web browser, uh, your mail reader that's installed. All of your settings in the system are included here. You get a number of accessories for everyday things. A few games are included with this, some graphics utilities, uh, internet tools are included, multimedia tools, uh, a few little office uh, packages. Uh, I noticed that it comes with the events document viewer, probably the best one out there. All of your system settings are easily found here. And then, of course, the Ubuntu Software Center where you can download additional packages. And obviously, uh, these are kept uh, fairly small. They don't include a lot of software with them because they wanted them to be able to fit on a CD. 
All right, my final thoughts. Canonical has made a wonderful contribution to the Linux community. There is an Ubuntu for everyone. If you don't like Unity, there are plenty of other choices that are available to you. And uh, as you could see from uh, this little roundup, there are a lot of nice choices. And it doesn't matter whether you have an ultra-fast modern computer or if you have a slow, outdated computer, one of these distributions will run on your system. Thank you, Canonical, for all of the work that you have put into this. You have made a wonderful contribution to the community. If you thought this video was of any use to you, please place a comment in the space below. I, uh, I'll be happy to uh, read through your comments and uh, reply as appropriate where I can. And also, as a reminder, I now have a new requests section. You can easily find that by visiting my channel under the featured tab you will see that there is a link to requests uh, go ahead and put your requests in that section and that section only this way i can keep better tabs on all of the requests that are coming in thank you all for watching we will see you next time